Dozens of street vendors in San Francisco's Mission District are dreading it, even though it is usually their busiest time of the year. They are fighting to delay a temporary ban on all street vending on a stretch of Mission Street between 14th and Cesar Chavez streets. It's supposed to start Monday and last 90 days, and it's aimed to crack down on crime, especially near the BART stations at 16th and 24th streets. But vendors who say they're following the rules feel like they are the ones paying the price. Jose Martinez shows us how they're pushing back. I'm here in the Mission where dozens of street vendors are gathered right here on 24th and Mission Street to basically urge Supervisor Ronan to delay the vending ban implementation at least until after the holidays. The frustration is real here in the Mission. It's another day in a battle for these street vendors trying to keep their businesses open. So they gather, prepared, and walked over to the corner where, starting Monday, they won't be allowed to sell anything. 116 permitted vendors through the holidays. They are asking that there is a simple extension until January so they can survive the holidays. John Jacobo is the lead organizer of Mission Street Vendors, created just a week ago to legally push against Supervisor Hillary Ronan's street vending ban. Sofia Lopez has been working as a street vendor since 2015. She says our products are not sold in the stores here. Our products are strategically brought from Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador and have been legally purchased. When Supervisor Ronan announced the ban, she cited complaints from Department of Public Works employees who said they faced violent threats and have had to wear bulletproof vests to work as they try to enforce the permit system. We reached out to Ronan's office but haven't heard back, but Mayor London Bridge's office said she supports the ban, saying, the 90-day moratorium in Mission Street is the result of unprecedented safety concerns due to unauthorized vending and illegal activities that has been negatively impacting small business owners, permitted vendors, mission residents, and visitors along one of the city's busiest transit corridors. The city also confirmed a plan to support permitted vendors by opening two temporary spaces where they will be allowed to sell. But the group is not happy about this either. There's one on 18th uh, and Mission. It only fits 30 people. And there's one here on 24th and Cap that only fits eight people. That's 38 people and there's 116 vendors. You can say that you have locations for them, but you don't have for all of them. And I don't think it's fair to say that you're going to take care of them all when there isn't a plan in place right now to do that. And so for now, Sophia says she'll keep taking time away from her business to keep fighting. And Sophia tells me they're having another meeting this Friday, hoping they could create a plan ahead of Monday's deadline. The vendors say Ronan told them Friday she will not push back the start of the ban and are still waiting to hear how it'll be enforced.